Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a white squid ship, and it's going to be awesome. First wave, that way you don't have to worry about waiting for hours to get it. So let's do this. Now, as always, in order to get this, you need to find a portal, and you need to unlock all the glyphs, okay? So in order to do that, link up top and down below in the description to videos detailing that. But to unlock glyphs, you talk to travelers at a space station, and they point you towards the direction of where they are. And to get a portal, you have to go to a monument, an alien monument, solve the riddle, and then you'll be able to get the location of a portal. And... In order to, to get all these cool things that I've been showing you guys and sharing with you, I always go to the Reddit No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange. Specifically, NMS Coordinate Exchange over on Reddit, okay? That is such a great community. They have tons of awesome people there that are sharing tons of stuff. And all credit goes to the one for this post that I'm using. It is from I should be a mod over on Reddit. I should be a mod. All credit goes to you, man. You found this cool uh, white squid and it is awesome. So let's jump into that portal address. So you can either go to the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange or just pause this video when it's done. But first symbol is gonna be a bird, then a sunrise, then the boat. Then the dragonfly, sunrise again, the dinosaur, hot air balloon, hot air balloon, the boat, the teepee, the moon, and here's the last one. So pause the video or go over to the NMS coordinates exchange. This is the ship. And again, all credit goes to I should be a mod over on Reddit. They went over there and verified this location. It's a first wave, which means all you have to do is go to the space station, and there you go. So let's go check it out and make sure it works. And holy smokes, everyone's leaving comm stations here. Whoa, that is awesome. Holy cow. So the, uh, oh God. <laughs> So the other tip I will give you is we're going to a space station for the first wave, but you can't switch out your starship when you get there. So you're going to want to call in the one you want to trade now before you get to the space station. I don't want to trade my hauler, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to call in a different starship just to make sure. Oh. I'm going to be trading in my orange exotic, my orange starfish. Oh, wait a minute. It can't land here, so let's move it over. Two thousand years later so yeah make sure to change to the one you want to trade okay because if you don't you're gonna be screwed and you'll have to either hopefully you know fly down here and go reload or you'll have to just chance it and buy it and then do it a, a whole big transaction so don't even worry about it just use the one you want to trade right here now once you land on the space station Exit your ship and that creates an autosave, which is awesome because now we're going to reload our autosave and then you're going to wait. The timer changed, so you're going to have to wait a little while. So, what you want to do is you want to reload and don't move for 45 seconds. Just let the ships come in. If you move, it might change the uh, random number generator and it might not be the first ship in. So, reload and don't move. So, there you go. There's our white squid. Uh, let's see what we got here. So if you pull out your analyzer, you can see it. And it's an S-Class, but it only has 18 general and 5 in the tech inventory. Oh, yeah. For, I always forget. I got to talk to the pilot. You can't talk to the ship anymore. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. Once we get in here, instead of doing this whole big thing like that, and then go to make an uh, offer in the life form ship, See, so we have 18 here, but they're also separated. That's not good. Don't like that. Oh, yeah, definitely don't like that. 
All right, so we're looking for a 20 and a 6. 20 general and a 6 uh, tech inventory. And remember, if it's not spawning for you, it's because you're moving. Reload and don't move, okay? So I'm going to do this a couple more times and see what kind of uh, random ones I get. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. A 20 and 6, okay? That's what you're looking for. Now, the big question is, how do those inventory slots shake out? So, yeah, I'm going to buy you. I, w I definitely want to buy it. I want to make sure it's okay, though. The... Oh, man. Right in the middle. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. What about the... At least the technology is all together in one row. But yeah, there's a hole in the middle. What in the world is that about? But that's okay. With the Beyond Update, you can move all of this tech around, so you don't have to worry about it like you used to. So I'm going to take it. So let's negotiate the price. Now, the price of this one is $12 million, so be ready for that. I know last time I accidentally cut it out. $12 million. You got to get rid You got to save that up. And if you have a good one to trade in, like mine's $8 million for trade in, so I technically only have to spend three and a half, three point six million to get it, okay? And the other thing is, don't forget, move all your stuff. Like, if you have anything over there, let's get rid of this. Because I need it. And then you can move anything you have in there. Boom. Done. Done. Now, there's some tech, like all this stuff, you can't get rid of. You can't dismantle it. It won't let you. Because this is permanent technology. Every starship has to have this stuff. So you can't get rid of any of that stuff. But you can get rid of some of the optional stuff. So do that. Move it all over before you buy it. That way you don't have to go back and buy it again. So let's grab it. Again, 12 million units. So this is ours. And this is called the Hanukkah of Beauty. Hijana of Beauty. So let's take this thing out and I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks amazing. So I love squids because they have really cool mobility. Look at that. But the best part is that they look really sweet too. So let's get out here. And then let's go into first person. I want to show you guys the cockpit. So this is the cockpit. Look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. Look at that. It's so cool looking. A huge bubble, basically. I love it. This is the inside. So if you're playing in VR, this is what you're going to see all the time. And it looks pretty sweet. I love it. But that's not it. We also have photo mode. So let's look at this. Wow, it, it put me in first person. But yeah, let's take a gander at that. Look at that beautiful ship. Oh, sexiness right there, you guys. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I will see you guys next time.